right, y'all. Sorry, I'm back. It's cold as shit. I want you to know my fingers are immediately cold. Like I was never sitting. Right, instantly. Okay. Right. I'm like, it's like I never just got out the car with the heater on. My <laughs> Um, I'm Bella Aiko. I'm a freelance journalist. I do everything on my own website. Okay. This is the pimpette and the pimp. No, no, no. And, uh, this is for Jess. No, this is for Jess. We're not going to use those names, sir. Okay. Uh, my, na my name is Grace. Grace to me. Amazing Grace. My name is Bogart. We feel it's unjust what they did to uh, Michael. Speak up, pimpette. That was my family. It, we just want justice. We, you are related. You related to Mike Lamb. Yes, I'm Michael Ponce. Oh, okay. Yes, my my big sister. Okay. Um, but we just want justice. That's all. You know, we feel justice needs to be prevailed, and it's all in their hands. You know, they're gonna try to rock us to sleep, but this African American community, we're gonna stick together. Oh yeah, most definitely. I want y'all to know I came all the way from Oakland. We appreciate you. I'm telling you, I came because, because it happens everywhere, and yes, it needs to stop it being needs ignored. This needs to stop because Michael has a cousin, which is my son' name is Michael. Also, he's 15 years old, uh -huh. and I pray for my son. I really do. I pray for my son' life because he's big in stature. Right. That's Michael. Right. He's only 15 years old, but he, he's in sports and everything. But I pray for my son' life every day. Right. So, I know I got a one year old and he's already three and a half feet tall. And so I'm scared by the time he get 15 and want to put on a sweatshirt and go play outside. Basketball. Right, football. anything. And my son just took his team to the championship, Hazelwood Central, yesterday. So, you know, it's nothing for them to take our baby's lives. Right. And it just needs to stop. Right. So, thank you. Well, my name is Bella. What's your name again? My name is Grace Bella. Grace. We have some amazing names. <laughs> my name is Boga Bogus the boss. All right, well, it was very nice to meet you both. Thank you. I want to offer my condolences to your family. You. I have hundreds, thousands of people actually that watch this. So uh, on behalf of them as well, Thank who you. aren't we able to be it. here. We yeah. Help us support St. Louis, STL. Love y'all. God will. <laughs> have a good one, y'all. Well, there you go. We just had a, a opportunity to have a brief conversation with some of Michael Brown's family who came out in support. They said they just, they just want justice. And they, they realize that this is an epidemic and that it happens everywhere and that it's time to stop ignoring these things. Now, <clears throat> now after a lot of protesting, there have been a lot of drums playing and everything. Hello. Uh, you can see that the police have also started to come outside. So I am walking over to uh, film what's going on. I was in the car trying to warm up. I get out the car and it's going down. I realized that all of our Twitter stream uh, threads and streams have been posted on the uh, St. Louis Cop Talk website. Um, if it's not racist conversation, I do invite dialogue. I need a scarf. Shut Shit, it's down. cold out here, y'all. Who's sick of that? Stupid ass tape. We shut that shit down. If we don't get it. It's a lot of y'all. We don't need all It's so cold out here, y'all. We back in the back door, back door. Oh! What did they say across the street? They got the pepper spray out. They're removing the gate. Move back. Move back. 
We're waiting for the cars to cross. You guys, you see that the cars are coming. People are trying to cross the street, but cars are coming. We're trying to cross the street. We're trying to cross the street, sir. The police are telling us to cross the street. Please don't hit us. Like we're trying to leave. We're trying to cross the street. Cars are not allowing us to do that. I just got out the car from warming up, you guys. Jesus Christ. It's fucking freezing out here. Jesus Christ. I don't know what happened. I was just in the car warming up. All I saw heard was the kids on the drum chanting. Right. All of a sudden, I got out the car with the stream. I had an interview with Mike Brown's auntie, Grace, and then I walked across the street just to get a shot of what was going on, and there were riot police lined up. I was in my car. All I know is I Right. I just got out the car. Oh, my God. You saw the National Lawyers Guild has been walking around filming what's going on. They're out here tonight. It is freezing to me. I don't know. I'm just standing here. I'm sure they know who I am. The police are backing up. The protesters are on the sidewalk across the street. Oh, Courtney, I've been tweeting you all day, girl. The legal observer is being detained. A national, a national lawyers guild legal observer is being arrested at this point. There is a contingency of officers coming over to tell protesters to get out of the street. There is a contingency of officers telling protesters to stay out of the street. As you can see, I'm once again on the sidewalk. Take your ass back across the street! As you can see, the police do not have on their lapel cameras, but they do have uh, an officer out filming with a camcorder. That did an officer fail. It is for reason out here, y'all. They need to take their punk asses back. Oh, you see people out here in hoodies and masks. It's because it's absolutely freezing. My ears are cold, even though my hair is jammed. My face is cold. My fingers, I have these gloves on, and I'm still for reason. I have a huge Stop coat and two shirts. It Nigga, is fucking, fuck? it is cold as shit. Who do you protect? Who do you protect? Who do you protect? Who do you say? 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 You talking to me with the shotgun? Hey, shotgun! These cops don't like it. We want an indictment. These cops don't like it. We want an indictment. These cops don't like it. We want an indictment.
Hey, just look at them like they're looking at y'all. Hey! That was inaudible. I could not hear that. I'm not sure if the people on the stream could hear it. Could you hear the announcement from the police on the stream? We cannot hear the warning. We did not hear the announcement from the police. Kill them with silence. And let's kill them. Look at them like they're looking at us. I don't know oh, what the officer said. What time is it? That's what it was. What? The 11 o'clock noise. Yeah. That's what they did. It's the 11 o'clock noise ordinance. We're under the impression. Keep peace and help keep my people safe. You know what? Keep okay, peace but check this out. But check this out. Okay, well, whatever. I don't care about Darren Wilson or none of that. What I'm Thank trying you. to tell you is, what I'm trying to tell y'all is, okay, everybody want to go in the street, everybody want to go over there. Bro, the, the people you talking to been out here every day for seven days. We need to go to jail together. You're not hearing If we're going to go to jail, go to jail. Let's go to Just look at them like they're looking at us. <laughs> can you hold this so I can zip my coat up? I'm for a reason. You have to make statements. I don't understand why it's so funny. Oh, she's coming out. They're going to get tired. Keep bringing their ass to the street. Bring their ass to the street every fucking time. Let them bring their dumb ass out here and look stupid. Every time. What the fuck is he talking about? And now I'm talking about Thank you. Who's blocking the street? Wow, my dude. Wow. They said something about blocking the street. You have to be fucking shit. What did they say about blocking the street, y'all? I have no clue. I just got back here. <laughs> Nobody was in the middle of the road when I came up. I had to walk across the street and I had to wait for the cars to pass so that I could get across the street to go film. No, they want to rush us and have some justification. But it's not justification if it's not happening. Right. Right. Okay, so the justification from what I can gather is that um, they were standing in the street and blocking the streets, but you guys saw on the film that I had to walk across the street and wait on the cars this time. So. 
I mean, at least at least come out for reasons that are like serious. Like Jesus, this is a lot of manpower. I, I want your fucking pee, and I came back, and I came back. To you Oh, you How many cops does it take to arrest no lady? How many cops does it take to tell people to stand on the street? I mean, out the street, get out the street. All of them, apparently. We weren't even in All the of them. I, I mean, but right, we weren't in the street. But if people were in the street, how many do you really need? Like that's a ticketable offense. Well, I said indict, convict, send that killer cop to jail. The whole damn system is guilty as hell. Indict. Convict, send that killer cop to jail. The whole damn system is guilty as hell. I said indict. Convict, send that killer cop to jail. The whole damn system is guilty as hell. Indict. Convict, send that killer cop to jail. The whole damn system is guilty as hell. Bitches. Let me throw this away so I don't lose. Stack it short is up live. If you go to my website, um, bemedia.weebly.com you'll have Revolutionary Z stack is short and my stream all live on the same front page um, I'm gonna go add STL Dagger and Anon Cop Watch as well so that we can select, like just centralize all of the streams that are consistently out here um, not only just that but the streams that people you know engage with so So I just want to centralize everything. I know there are citizen streams. The citizen streams has like a million links on there. I just want y'all to see like when a Ferguson stream goes live, I've been trying to centralize everything. I, I hate them. I hate them. It looks like a bunch of preschoolers. I fucking hate them. Walking in the line, though. Y'all look like some fucking preschoolers. Y'all ain't shit without those badges, bitch. Not the badges, they're not shit without the badges. Face. Is he a thug? I'm not shit sure without the badges. Is he a thug? Like, Right. I just like to take the time to say thank you to the same people who brought the hot potato soup that they brought hot chocolate tonight. Beautiful, because my hands are freezing. Just holding the cup is awesome. <laughs> And the charge of people. To charge at peaceful people. Some are loud, some are even belligerent, but they're not breaking any laws. And to run at people with base hands. Well, it's. It's. This is fucking. I hate it. It makes me want to move out of this country. Seriously. No one will take it. No one will want it. Yeah, you're right. You can't blame them. No, absolutely not. I heard Canada raised. Uh, it was it was several years ago for some I think maybe when Obama came. What did Canada office. I have people in Canada right now watching the stream. What did Canada I, I, I do? I believe hey, Canada I, I raised Canada twice. Their, I love uh, Canada. Wish I could live there over this bullshit. It's it, it's it's leaps and bounds ahead of where we're at. Their immigration charge, I think they raised like to eighteen thousand dollars it costs to to immigrate to Canada. Wow. Maybe. I I know for a fact that and if that you have like a DUI or something, you can't go to Canada. That's just to apply, I think. They could still say no. Nah. 
Um, but yeah, the whole Obama thing supposedly, and I just heard this, I didn't confirm it myself. Uh -uh. But uh, when he came into office, and a lot of people, oh, I'm leaving the country. Candidates didn't want those people. <laughs> And they uh, allegedly raised the immigration price. Wow. I, I have gloves. They're the texting gloves. That's why the fingers. But, like, I have gloves. It's fucking freezing. It's cold. Man, I'm telling y'all. And you know I'm from California. I'm, I, I don't need you. Let me tell you something. San Francisco ain't got shit on this. It's freezing. <laughs> you can't wait to get back, huh? No, I'm good. I'm good. The police told me that if I didn't leave, I'd be arrested. And I'm like, but I didn't commit any crimes, and I'm a United States citizen. I'm supposed to have the right to travel freely and the absolute right to document you. Absolutely. Right. So I'm like, now I, I, well, now I don't want to leave. They make up their own laws and fit them to the situation. And I have family here, and it's the holiday season, and my birthday's coming up, so I'm oh, like, yeah. fuck, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> And they overkill. Hey, Courtney, they're not actually leaps and bounds yet. I would love some hot chocolate, actually. I'm going to go get some. Why don't you document, because that's what you do best, and I'd be happy to get you a I would really appreciate that. Thank you. Man. <laughs> City ain't have no money. How you paying for all these people? You know, I think I'm on it. I'm on it. I thought they ain't have enough of it. Y'all can't get body cameras, but you got all these damn bodies. Uh, Fire some of their ass. I bet you get some cameras. We can. That's all. I'm sure they got enough on their Can we get some new shit? She said, I just want my tuition paid for real. Can I, can I get to law school? Can I, yeah. Thank you. Oh, wait, let me make sure I got a good grip. Okay, good. Thank you. I got hot chocolate, y'all. My hands are warm. For real? Yes. Oh, okay. yes. I just want it on the way. Thank you. Can we get $15 an hour? Is it, is it Tyler Twyla? You a mark? You a mark? You look like in the corner. You mark in the stand. What a mark? Hey, the little short mark. You an ugly motherfucker. Stay on it. Your bitch doing Dino. What the fuck you just say? Yeah, Miss Jupiter's been going in. This is Miss Jupiter. It's 1957. I couldn't remember the numbers after her name, you guys. But let me tell you something. Every single time I come out here, she's already here. Okay? Like, let's give it up to her. She doesn't always want to stream, but she does it until the streamers show up sometimes. You know what I mean? And, and when it's necessary, she picks it up. You got to show her love. Look, she got the battery packs. Yeah, I, you got killed, the battery I, pack I killed all. I killed all these. I had to borrow oh, yeah. one. Oh You need a real one. She need a real battery <laughs> pack, y'all. I, 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 I borrowed this one from Key. She needs an all-power 50,000 mega amp battery pack because she's I've been, out here. I've been streaming for almost six hours. No, I know. That's what it says right here. Miss Jupiter has a stream up for six hours today. Show some love. You've been shutting down though, right? I, a couple of times. I have okay. my battery. Down okay. Time. You got to shut them down around two and a half, three hours. I, I noticed that on my first, my first one that when it hit three hours, it said I had to shut down. It's better to try to do it around two because then if you want to upload them to YouTube and stuff, it's easier for you to get it done. Yeah, 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 no problem. Somebody brought me one. Whatever. <laughs> but it's six hours right here. Yeah. Everybody got hot chocolate. It's beautiful. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much for bringing it. Whoever brought it, I appreciate it. That would be this one. I'll try to talk. Oh, your mom brought it. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, she brought the soup last time. Miss Jupiter is awesome, and apparently so is her mom. You the fuck, nigga. You the fuck, nigga. And I'm a savage. What's that mean? I'm a beat all y'all. Did you add Epimetheus as a mod? Who's talking to me? I'm talking to these fuck niggas. Nobody's saying that. I just, hey, Rise, I got one on my wish list. If somebody orders another all, all sound to my wish list, my shipping address is to St. Louis. Um, I will get that to her it's, uh, whenever it arrives. Um, I don't know what her information is, but y'all can always get out of her Twitter and try to figure that out as well. But I already have the 50,000 mega amp one. I believe it's on sale for like $28.99 on Amazon right now, which is pretty freaking awesome. So. I'm Kevin Hart, bitch. <laughs> yeah. See, I'm Kevin Hart.
Why don't you call the police? Send it to the next Oh, yeah, scared. One call face this way, the other face that way, snitch. Okay, okay. go. What y'all got? Are y'all free to go watch the NFL? Y'all free to go watch the news? How the fuck y'all watch TV without my face? I just, I'm walking over. I got a camera in one hand and hot chocolate in the other. Uh, I'm going to stand on the sidewalk, which I believe is still a public area. I'm walking across the street like a normal person that walks across the street. And I'm just filming. This seems like the police line is backed up behind uh, the barrier there. You see a couple protesters have walked up to the police line. Oxtail soup is awesome. I don't know if they were talking to me, but out of safety's yeah, sake, I guess I should just walk across the street. I just went to go see the police line a little closer. I stayed on the public sidewalk. I'm walking it back across the street. They just, when I went over there, they made the announcement that uh, we're in violation of a peaceful protest and that if we do not disperse, we will be subject to arrest. That's what they said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what the announcement, that's what the announcement just said. And then they said, stay across the street. So I didn't know if they were actually talking to me. Um, or if they were talking like about the other protesters who had walked up to the fence. You notice they got the snatch and grab squad out again. Right. See that? Right. I just, I just, well, no, that's, that's exactly it what it is. Yeah, that's that's not, it it's the same <laughs> tactic that a lot of police departments I use in the park. Yeah. I don't know. I just, for some reason from your tweet, I like, felt like you left or something. I don't, I don't know. know. I just went and got the baby and went home and relaxed and or tried to work on my website a little bit, you know, try to do some stuff, but I'm not, no, no, no. That's why I tweeted, I was like, oh, it's been a pleasure occupying it. Oh, no, That's girl. Like, <laughs> I thought she was out. I am a law-abiding citizen. I'm cold as shit right now, that's for sure. But I'm like standing here filming and drinking hot chocolate. I, I, I doubt that I'm even in violation of the noise policy or whatever yeah. ordinance. I'm 30 years old, so I'm grown as shit. I don't know what, what would apply to me, but I also am a freelance journalist, so it literally is my job to be out here documenting this. So, I don't know what law I would be in violation of. I also feel like as an American citizen, my First Amendment right, it's my duty as an American citizen to document this because it's not it being is. adequately documented. Right. So, like, I, I am, I'm not doing anything illegal to warrant being arrested. Right. And I don't know what the purpose of them having their name tags on for if I can't get close enough to film it. You know what I mean? Like, that's another thing. Why can't I get close enough to see your name tag? I'm obviously, like, in my threat, I got a Hello Kitty backpack. I got a cup of chocolate that's cold as fuck. It's keeping my hand warm, and I have a camera with my with my press badge visibly displayed at all times. So why is it that I cannot get close enough to document your badges? Yeah. You know what I mean? If that's I am effectively documenting, and y'all are standing behind a barrier and not moving in on the, I'm just documenting. That makes it because most nights they aren't behind that barrier. Like most nights, they'll actually be on the sidewalk in the middle of the street. Right. So now that you said that, I do kind of question, like, what's up with this bitch? This is now that y'all finally. I mean, but even when they come up, they back us up so quickly, and then like it's like yeah. if we say that we don't see a name tag or whatever, they don't pull that officer off the line. They don't make them apply their identification. 
you know, at least I'm not even going to say it happened all the time in Oakland, but we did start to see officers getting pulled off the line and having to put their name tags and shit on. In a protest scenario, I mean, I wasn't there today to be able to testify to if it's holding true, you know what I mean? But, like, we have still seen officers who come out in, like, full militarized garb, and they are yeah. not having any form of identification. Yep. So when the city calls in for mutual aid, we have no idea what what police department we're even dealing with. And then that's problematic because when they, under the mutual aid policy, it's like we have to hold individual police departments accountable to like yeah. our local legislation, but we didn't Which even know who they were. Right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's abusive. They saying something. I gotta go film this. Bye. What happened? <laughs> what happened? Make no sense. So the spine work is fair game. They have arrested us for doing perfectly legal things. Right. And now keep in mind that they have arrested us for doing perfectly legal things. So if they come out, just cross the street. So I'm not saying that if you go stand on the sidewalk, they won't lock y'all's asses up. I'm just saying that if you go stand on the sidewalk, you ain't breaking the law. I understood. <laughs> understood. In Oakland, they had this, uh, I think it was 647B or C or some shit like that. What it was is they said it was a malicious obstruction of a throughway. And so they would use that local legislation to trump our First Amendment right to gather, what, assemble, protest, etc. So it's, it's it's interesting to see the systemic, uh, whatever, process or whatever, you know what I mean, like the oppression really of people's ability to protest and access their First Amendment rights. It's interesting to see the way that it's used by this police department in comparison to the way that it was done in Oakland and uh, San Francisco and Anaheim. Who they talking? Uh, I don't know. A bunch of people. <laughs> you already came in the camera. Yeah, talking about some y'all need to get on this. I'm like, no, no, we don't. And it was like, like chill too. It's just like the most chill. It's like the saddest arrest photo because it's like cold as shit, y'all. You gonna interview me? Yeah, I'm so good. You can interview me. Okay, hold this because I can switch hands. Okay. No, don't do that. I need the warmth. Thank you. You see my guy. I'm like, no, don't do that. I need the warmth from the cut. Their styrofoam cups, y'all know how I feel about that, but it's so fucking cold, I'm just gonna do this. I'm drinking it. I'm drinking out of the poison, y'all. My fucking hot chocolate is poison, but whatever. It's delicious and warm. He like, it got cinnamon in it. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about this police officer's bill of rights, y'all. So, the, the federal and state governments alike are held beholden to the Constitution of the United States of America. But the police officer's Bill of Rights somehow trumps that because they can do their job and commit atrocities under the letter of the law. And somehow our Bill of Rights don't apply. I'm very confused by this. I'm inviting conversation. Um, so how is it that the federal and the state governments are held accountable or beholden to the Constitution, but at the same time, they're allowed to, like, do shit in spite of it, and the Constitution might not even matter, depending on, like, the type of law that is instituted on American soil. Can y'all help me talk about that? Like, I don't, I, I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around it, and some specifics would be amazing, aside from the establishment is completely fucking abusive and oppressive, like, you know. Where's Z? Chocolate? Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, yeah, your hands just need to hold it. Everybody going over to the to the hot chocolate truck? I'm telling you. Everybody that gathered around the hot chocolate, y'all. <laughs> Not everybody, but a lot of people. 
So, I'm blowing out little clouds of cold ass air. Yeah, but I don't think I got them. I think Howard got the keys. That's fucked up. I wish Mexico had streamers. I wish I spoke Spanish, but I still wouldn't leave here, so there's that. So, what are the numbers looking like? I would say they're about... What, 20, 20 people over there? A few scattered throughout, another what? 30 people on this size? Only 50, 60 people, not a bunch. Definitely less numbers than we're out. Hi, Uriah. I'm good, how you doing? How about you? Cold, but <laughs> it's cold as shit out here. Yeah. We gonna make it through, though. Oh, without a doubt. We'd have made it, what, 400 some years? I think we'll we'll survive a couple nights. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 400 nights is a long time. You know? <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, shit, I think it's hypocritical. I walk around and stream people all the fucking time. I don't care about your camera. The thing is that I don't like when people lie. If you're going to show the truth, show the unedited truth. I have to go back and watch my videos, whether I'm proud of my responses or how I responded to things or not, but I show the truth. My count is 357. I don't know how many people are actually watching me. I don't even know. But Rev Z is still upstreaming, walking around. You got to give it to Rev. Uh, Stack is sitting there tweeting. 45 degrees, fire fam is fucking freezing to me. I'm from California in like Oakland at that. 45 degrees is ridiculous. There was a meme going around that was awesome. It was like, my favorite thing about winter is watching it on TV. <laughs> and I understand what that means now. Oh, I'm talking about the weather. It's fucking freezing out here. It's fucking cold. Fuck that shit. You see that shit? Right there. Oh, shit. He's standing on the camera. There's hot chocolate over there, y'all. Let's go get some. Please, hot chocolate. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to get some more, y'all. It's fucking called to me. Ah! Is this a line? Is this a line? Is that a chocolate? We're not, we're not crossing the street. Even though he was walking away. Why they mess up with my Yes. Right? I'm like, it is too cold. My hand just needs to hold. How you doing? You was going in. I was like, I'm gonna let her do her thing. I'll say, say hi later. It wasn't me. I understand. It wasn't me. I understand. You was peaceful. You just was passionately getting your message out. I'm there now. I keep finding myself. No, I'm like trying to remember. Have y'all seen? Have y'all seen HJ? Go find yourself in the Oh, this is amazing. Oh, hell yeah. This is awesome, y'all. She done came and hooked it up. Yeah, I'm gonna go shave. 
It's a live fire in the back of right. the house. I am not mad at her at all. Fire. She is out here getting it done. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> I got oh, can I have some coffee? I didn't even know that was a real thing going on back here. I would, first of all, can I just say thank you so much for being completely amazing and doing this? Can I take a picture of you being awesome? Yeah, you're being awesome? Okay. I mean, as long as you're okay with it. It's hot chocolate. It's hot chocolate. You know, can I have, you got bigger cups? Can I have a big cup of coffee? You are amazing. And you're Miss Jupiter's mom, right? I am Miss Jupiter's mom. You are amazing. So is your daughter. This is sugar creamer and coffee right there. Make it Can somebody help me? Because I got the stream up. Whoever she wants to, however she likes it. I make the coffee. I just... I just want all that. I want sugar cream and coffee. Oh, she got you. Yeah, I don't know how much goes for that. I don't usually do instant coffee. Maybe another spoon. Okay, and then some sugar and some cream. That is amazing. This is fucking beautiful. There's sugar right here for the Sorry, y'all. Uh, you are going to have to watch this happen. Have a little bit more sugar. I operate between caffeine and sugar high. <laughs> Keeps me going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to put a lot of that in there because of the instant copy bee. Yeah. Thank you. That's good. That's good. That's good. No, no. I will deal with the heat. My fingers will be grateful. I had some gloves today. I but I have gloves on. It's just yeah, you know. Thank you though. Hey, we need an extra coat. I need I have somebody that needs a coat. Can I can you pass me one when you get a chance? Thank you. I'm like I gave him my little coat. He's tiny as hell and he's wearing it. Thank you. Can you oh shit. Okay, that'll work. There we go. Thank you. What's your name? Taylor. Hi, Taylor. I'm Jessica. Everybody call me Bella. Nice to meet you. Okay, y'all. I'm trying to get Howard a coat. Howard out here wearing my little tiny jacket. That ain't fair. I'm so desperate for hot chocolate. You are desperate for hot chocolate. I'll give you hot chocolate and give her coffee. How's that sound? I know it'll work out. I got a question. I got That one is not hot yet. I got five minutes. I'm going to start at one <laughs> People on my stream are saying thank you so much for coming out. I have a job, but it's okay. She's like, I got a job. I don't need a donation. She just comes out and just does this. Okay, y'all. I'm sorry. Be patient. I'm trying to get somebody a coat. It's freaking cold out here. Just because I have a jacket on, like I can just imagine how he feels right now. My little tiny sweater jacket. It's not even a real coat. Oh, she only has coffee and tea left. I think you guys like the chocolate There we go. Right? Just hot. Fine. Like you got hot water in a living. I'll be good at that. Like, <laughs> Okay, she's like, I've been marching for 50 years. I get to just bring the coffee now. Totally respect that. Can I help you get the coat? I don't want to reach over the fire though. Open that side door and it's right behind the seat. There's a whole bunch of Okay, cool. Thank you. All right, you guys, the stream's gonna get funny. This is all different. Right here? This? Is this okay? Yeah, any of those clothes. All right, great. Thank you. Oh, shit.
Is this a fucking... Yeah, thank you. I don't we don't need a blanket. Thank you though. <laughs> sorry y'all. All right, sorry y'all. My, my, I gotta try to find Howard now. They gotta keep us in this motherfucker. She got extra sweaters and shit in there. Probably, yeah, probably wanted to fit you. I think I just seen some. She ain't with fucking my brother now. He like this. Okay, y'all, I'm walking around looking for Howard if I can give him a coat, but he might have went back to the car, so that's where I'm headed. I'm spilling coffee on the fucking coat. <sighs> Doing the best I can with the stream. Sorry, breakbeat. It's it's cold as shit. <laughs> I'm, and I'm looking for people that I'm with. Hold on, y'all. Can you fit this? I think it's a girl coat. I liked it for me. I ain't gonna lie, but I thought maybe you could fit it and it would do you better justice. I spilled a little coffee on it trying to get over here. I apologize about that. I figured at some point that might do me better justice in the coat I got on and that you could wear that tonight, maybe. She has other coats. The lady with the hot chocolate is in her car. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't break the zipper. I like this coat. When I'm out here, this is the I thought that that would help you out a little bit. Especially with that. Don't lamb. break the fucking zipper. I like that coat. So that means just don't zip it. No, I mean don't break the zipper. I mean what I said. Okay, y'all. Uh, first of all, all of them looked a little small, and I didn't know, and he wasn't there, so I was like, well, fuck. Let me go see. <laughs> Maybe this one will fit him. I'm quite sure it will fit me later. What y'all think? I look like... <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna break this one. Hey, we finna get stuff popping, though. You know, we holding it down. Damn right. I couldn't text him because I had to shut the stream down, y'all. So right. that's not a thing. Oh, nah. It's 48 degrees. Let me tell you, the coldest that it get in California to me is like 50 oh. something. And See, he, all the time problem. when it's 50 degrees, I'm in the house. And I can't even say 50. I would be like 56. My hand you know what I'm saying? Like, well, I'm sorry. But we're but we going to hold We're going to make it do what it do. You could not wear that and go get another coat. No, nah, this is what we're going to do. Cause this is all we got for right now. It's not like you don't have coats at home. You just forgot them. Oh uh, yeah, you know. Huh? Please, close the door so she can keep the heat in. Please don't, please don't forget your coat in St. Louis. You will be cold. Okay, well I just came to find you and give you that. I'm going back. All right. You're welcome. Are you getting out? You gonna get out? Huh? She said she cut it off. She gonna sit in there, I guess. Oh no. I just was asking if you was getting out the car. Are you about to stay in the car? Okay, it, 
You got the key. Just make sure you lock the door and you get out. Okay. Oh, hey, Sean, man. In the car. Hold on, get in, get in the car, get in the light so we can see the car. We upgraded. Look, turn around. How are you guys? We are her. Let me, hold on, let me get you in. They said it looked like the car everybody else. Oh, it is. You said they said what number? It looked like the jacket that uh, they gave Chris, and everybody hates Chris. <laughs> like, here you go, go to school. <laughs> she came and saved lives with this goddamn coffee and shit. Hey, can you take this bottom cup so that I can just get the warmth from the top cup? I don't know what to do with this. How you get a big cup? Because I asked for one. Ain't no more hot chocolate, it's coffee and tea. Oh, it is. Oh, some tea. Mm -hmm. Ain't in the car? Yeah. Ichi in the car? Nah. I dropped Ichi at the babysitter when shit got funny. As soon as I realized that the police probably wasn't going to do hella shit, I ran off. She got sweaters nice in the truck, too. Oh, for Ichi? Yeah. I'll come get them tomorrow. I'll bring them. I'm going to bring them to y'all. So I don't know how I forgot to get the stuff today. It was, it's just a little bad because I'm still washing the stuff. Okay. Thank you. I'm just like, we've been here for a minute. I keep having to wash the same clothes over and over for him. You know what I mean? So I appreciate it. I'm going to see if Bella wants What sizes are they? It's some, I think they like, they his size. He fit everything from, it depends, you know, some size run small or whatever. But he fit everything from like 12 months to 2T. Yeah, I think he could fit They look like he could fit Okay. I'm gonna say, do I stick on my sunglasses? So yeah, the legal observer got arrested, and what was it, two or three other people? I think so. Yeah, so I don't know who those individuals were, but I did catch all their arrests actually. This, I should this, tell the legal observers that. I'm sure they have their own footage, but still. This shit getting crazy. How we got some <laughs> Y'all ain't me. <laughs> You almost got arrested tonight. Twice. Yeah, and yeah. no, I was right behind you, like, oh shit. Yeah. There, I was like, oh you heard shit. Him, like, back up, back up. Yeah, and I was like, up. he's wild. I'm like, there's a fucking gate behind him. Like, give him a second. I'm no, like, people. I, I, he kept saying it as I was. Literally... No, you were backing up. It's on my. Yeah. I filmed it. I was like, oh shit. I'm That's... Trying. I was so. I, yeah. Oh, I got to know who that is. Wait. <laughs> Twice earlier too. And then, and then. That's the crazy thing about it is like the longer I'm here, you know what I mean. It stops becoming strangers, and these are people that like I know that have held my baby, that have given what us clothes, know? that have fed us. You know what I mean? Like these are not violent, crazy fucking psychopaths. Like what the fuck? Then I talk about raping, raping or whatever. I'm like I am a single woman. I came down here with my baby. We have been taken care of by everybody down here. Every single person. Down Every here. single person down here has been amazing to they me. Give, they, even they, even some of the ones who are not as friendly with the camera have still been very welcoming to me. You know what I mean? So I'm yeah. like, I don't understand all these rumors. Yeah. Who, who are they raping? Like, <laughs> are you kidding me? Yeah, I, I later. Are you out? Yeah. Good night. Yeah, I've been amazed at the hospitality. This is B Hayes, uh, what is it? 743. B Hayes 743 on Twitter, y'all. It's a lie. It's a lie, yes. Oh, boy, don't talk about this. Well. 
People are just standing around. There's like hot chocolate and tea and coffee. She has coats. I think she ran out of gloves, but she has sweaters. You know what I mean? Like people are standing around talking. There's a woman that had all decompressing masks, a little bit, huh? Glitter, what masks? Painters masks? Oh yeah, 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 she was yeah. Them out. Like, what she got? Like a hundred pack. Yeah, but they don't—they don't do anything except for maybe like the pepper spray, the mace or whatever to like for your skin around your mouth, which is awesome because it tends to be more sensitive around the lip area. But uh, like for that, it, like the Israeli fucking civilian gas mask yeah. is optimal. You know what yeah. I mean? It covers most yeah. of the facial area. If they gas over and over again, the cartridges are still good or whatever the, the are inside. And it, like I said, it covers your eyes yeah. and your cheeks. And like, so if they spray and you have a hood on yeah. and the gas mask, you're completely, you're yeah. fine. You know what I mean? Yeah. Especially if you have gloves and a coat on and it's fucking ridiculously cold weather, like yeah. you're good. Especially like a rainproof. Yeah. yeah. So like if you're media and you have that, it's amazing. Yeah, the I thing got, about me is like, I have a ridiculous amount of hair. Yeah. So getting the gas mask on is a thing. I got the same respirator you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's been proven to work in tear gas, mm -hmm. pepper spray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you get goggles, then you're pretty much covered. Uh, you need to get the right goggles, though. That's the problem. Is so many people pick up the cheap ones. Right, and they don't have spray. that. They don't cover around the face, like well, around the eye well, area and that, shit. But even even the the ones that do, um, they have those little white twist. They almost look like they twist off like their vents almost. Uh uh. And shit gets in through there if you spend five more dollars at home depot you can get impact resistant ones so not only does it help with the pepper spray and all that not getting into because that's the whole point you know but it also uh or tear gas you know because it's shrapnel it's, it's, or god forbid they shoot it or you rubber or some bullets shit. yeah or yeah, beanbag yeah. rounds because i know i have a friend that got his eye taken out by a rubber bullet well you guys there you guys have it um less than lethal i've been spending a lot of money on rental cars so if you guys donate to me for fucking emergency supplies because obviously things are gonna just get a little worse a vest would be good i yeah, know though vests are like 300 dollars aren't that what you're telling me the one that's I, a really the, expensive the one i got was 300 but that was because it was at a store that only had, they didn't have a, a lot of variety, and uh, it's the highest handgun protection. Jesus. They come in ratings. The so, thing about uh, it is that's fucking crazy. Like I come out and I and I and I come out this way purposely. I have a Hello Kitty backpack, yeah. and a cell phone, and a press badge. Like I'm yeah. not, you know what I mean? I put a mask on because you are tainting the air, and yeah. I need to breathe. Yeah. I don't even have like a military or even the Israeli civilian gas yeah, mask I. because I don't want to present that image. I am not here for war. Right. I am not here to have a riot or be attacked. Yes, I'm saying shit you may not agree with. Yes, I fucking cuss a lot. You know what I mean? But I am also educated and I have the right to shout from the fucking street. Yeah. That's my right. And I think I think there's another thing too. I mean, when I when I when they came out and I saw they had pepper spray and everything, I put my I started to get my gas mask on, and all sorts of people just started like like t like like looking at me and taking photos back when we were occupying the lot over there at the driveway. And I think, in a way, that, that, that when the citizens start protecting themselves with any sort of suitable uh, protection, uh, when they see something other than just a cheap little paper mask, I think that that adds to the fear of, that's, that, I think that, that that can contribute, after I've been thinking about it, and the weird kind of amount of attention I got for putting on a painter respirator. It's not even a real gas mask. No, it's, it's a painter it's respirator. It's $25 yeah. at Home Depot, and, and that's fucking with tax out right. here. Shit. And, and yet, when I put that on, it attracts so much attention, and it looks... And I, I just, I was thinking about it, and I'm like, well, you know, are the cops getting... <laughs> is this what they want? Do they want people to, to look... Do they want the citizens to look like they have to put on gas masks and fucking goggles and get all that shit ready and, you know I mean it, in, in a way I, I, I was curious you know like are they getting a rise out of this like is I this, mean is this, you know you know what and that's I don't know I mean and so there's a thing like do a self-preservation tells me to get these items and right. put them on right I'm like, but I'm, this is almost a form of denial, but yeah. I'm an American citizen, but I'm right. a member of the press. I'm exactly. a freelance journalist. I'm legitimized by the ACLU. Why do I have you to do that? You, you know what I mean? Exactly. And so I'm like, while they out there chanting, we ready? I'm like, yes, motherfuckers really do gotta be ready just yeah. to stand on the sidewalk <laughs> and say, stop killing us.
Like Sorry, you will get shot call. at for saying oh, no, stop no, no, killing no, us. Not, 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 uh, not wait, the on the National Police Brutality Day, not the you sidewalk. will come out and meet riot police. Not the sidewalk. Everybody in the world only, is talking about this right only, now. Only, like, the, the, only the right what? sidewalk, That's Bella. The only the right sidewalk. Okay, sidewalk. okay no, only no, this sidewalk. No, that sidewalk is off limits, and we've seen a National Lawyers Guild legal observer arrested for standing on that sidewalk. So it's not about standing on the sidewalk. It's not about the five second rule, which was unconstitutional. Hold on, my two cents. What are you talking about? Mail to what P.O. box? Don't mail anything to me to a P.O. box. If you want to send anything for me, then get with me and we'll figure that out. I don't accept anything through anybody else. And if I do, then I will have let that be known myself. I don't know. I have no idea about this thing you're talking about by two cents. I'm sorry, Brian. I mean, cut you off. I, I didn't mean to cut you off. I just oh, no, I saw some just, stuff going just, on in Chester. It's Street. just ridiculous that, that after that happened, now they're coming at us and saying you can only stand on this side of the, the, the street. On even though there's a sidewalk on that side of the street. Yeah. And, I mean, no, they made the announcement that to go across the street or face arrest, but right. I was standing on the public side. Like yeah. I made, I was, right. I told the stream, I'm walking across the street right. like a normal person. I just walked across the driveway like I was walking down the street like a normal person and I stood right there on a public sidewalk and said I just wanted to get a closer view of the line of police and, and show what they were right and when the when the person tried to question question the police and ask uh, a question about which statute says that we can only stand on this side of the sidewalk they all turned and left and and fucking you know with their fucking uh, you know, marching you know okay my two cents if it came from netta then i i i, yeah, I, I support think, yeah if it yeah. came from netta then it's cool uh, if you gonna send it to through Netta anything for me, make sure just put Bella Echo. Um, I didn't know that Netta had put that out, but if it came from her, then that's fine. Yeah, there definitely is a PO box that I don't know if it's Lost Voices and a, a, one of the groups is taking stuff. I think through a PO box, but don't quote me. Man, I wish we had like bomb detectors and shit. Honestly. You know what I mean? If we're posting a public ad, that's a lot of the reason why I go through my Amazon wish list. Yeah. Because yeah. you have to purchase it through Amazon to send to me. So it's like, a, it's a bit different. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't, I would get very weary of that P.O. box shit. I love y'all. I'm not, you know, to the, if the shoe don't fit, wear it. You know, I'm not, to those of you I'm not talking to, I'm not talking to you. But like, I get weary because I've never seen this amount of hate online or in person. I, I can't believe, I mean, there's probably people talking shit about me. You know, what's this fucking, you know, white cracker doing out here? Uh, you know, I, I've been watching the streams when I couldn't get out and get out here. And I couldn't get out of bed and get out here. I mean, you were, you watched me a lot. Like, as I, soon I, as you came out and told me who you were, I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, like, I felt I like mean, I knew you from Twitter. Yeah, I know. I mean, I, you know, and, and just the amount of, 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 on every stream, the trolls, even with, with people like you that have Courtney and uh, I think, like, a Rev has Rise and, like, you know, the big, the big, figures in that kind of community and the, the people that moderate and know what they're doing and stuff even even the streamers that have those people the hate and the, the, the troll shit is just fucking out of control sometimes. man i'm telling you i know people don't like to hear me say nigger lover and all that type of shit but like these are things that my friends yeah. who are white yeah are telling me that things the people have started saying to yeah. them yeah because they oh, no. support me in ferguson I, you know you know how many times i've been called that you see them like, yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I may breach you, you know, yeah, your yeah, comfort zone minute, when yeah. I say these things, not you in particular, one but minute. you know, like I was like, I might breach your comfort zone, but I'm not telling a lie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And no, I'm not saying that all people do this. I'm definitely, I don't, I'm not trying to make those type of blanket statements. Yeah. I'll, I, understandably, I do not always put the qualifier out there. So people who have watched me for the first time don't always understand that I am not a hateful individual. I get very upset when I see this type of shit because I am not a hateful individual. I said, tonight was the first night in two weeks that I got pissed and said, fucking pigs. I mean, I've been out here and I have not said that and I've been holding all of my views back to be, to try to, to, to when I, when I have my camera, it's to be impartial, to be neutral, it's to not no, no, not, fuck that. This is advocacy journalism. I advocate I, on the I side mean, of the it, protesters at all times. Right, like, and, I, but and, I let people know and, that. And, and, and that's the thing is, the photos I choose to take are, a, you know, that I will, I will say, you know, like I'm gonna take photos of fucking, you know, I'm gonna make sure every arrest gets documented, and I have documented every single arrest today or tonight here, and I've seen 
and if you scroll through them fast enough, it's almost, it shoots at seven frames per second. If you scroll through them fast enough, you can see one of the rest of people literally being dragged for like 20 feet. So, you know, I mean, I, I, I do choose what I photograph, and yes. Is that a form of bias? Yes. Man, fuck that. I'm like, you can if you you cannot criticize me if you won't talk about CNN, if you won't talk about Fox News, if you won't talk about MSNBC. Yeah. I know y'all got the live stream out here, but you're not fucking exempt to the shit I'm talking about. You cannot talk about me Wait, and my I'm critical narrative. A... Yeah, the streamwire, streamwire, yeah. whatever. Yeah, but they have a live stream out here. But well, my thing is, you cannot criticize my critical narrative. Yeah. I want to fucking find. Yeah, it's available to the public. People don't watch it because they don't. So that's mainstream live stream. It's different. Maybe. Plus, they don't have the ability to chat. Is what I'm understanding. I oh, haven't really? checked it out myself. But what it is is like what I'm saying is you can't criticize me if you don't criticize them. There's obviously See, the, the, a bias the, 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 in the, the mainstream media. The, the, the you know what I mean? Journalism and my mom has a degree in journalism. There is no such thing as an Im, uh, <laughs> uh, impartial or unbiased report, reporter, or or story. There's no such thing because it is impossible for any human being to literally be 100% neutral, 100% unbiased, 100% whatever. Wait, it's just literally impossible. People are asking like are you a, are you a journalist? Are you out here just documenting the movement as a citizen? Like what people are, you know. I came out here for the weekend thinking I was going to come out uh, in support of the as, Ferguson as, October as an, as an activist mm -mm. and I have a, a lot of training in, in commercial photography. And that's all, you know, super technical in the studio kind of, you know, eight hour setups for one shot kind of deal, like commercial photography, product photography, shit, you know, like perfume models, it takes, you know, eight hours to set up one shot. And someone said like, dude, you have all this fucking training, you have all this knowledge, why aren't you going there to document it? And so I came to document it and try to do it in a freelance way. Where, nothing, nothing has gotten sold, nothing has gotten really like, you know, published It's just there. distributed. So where, I, where are you posting your stuff at? I, I, I just, I'm, I'm trying to meet people, you know, like I, I talk to people, like, you know, network and try to, you know, just- I mean, he, like, he's sending me some of his photos that he's taken. So I'm like, you know, I've taken the photos and put them up on my website and stuff like that, but. So, yeah, First of all, I, I, if I you had took it, taken a photo and I put it on my website, credit yourself, because I probably fucking just took a bunch of photos that I downloaded and was like, here they are, and uploaded them in my photo album. Like, I don't do a whole bunch of background yeah, I, work. I mean, like, I, I do a bunch of videography you know, what, what, and like what's, I what's, what's write gonna, blogs. What's gonna end up happening out of this is I'm probably gonna make a website. I'm probably gonna do. All the interviews, all the stories, like at SLU and Occupy SLU and that whole thing, and all the various interviews and photos and stuff, I think I'm going to create a website, as because I have no experience as a photojournalist. This is like trial by fire, and I, you know, I've learned a lot because it's a lot different than what I was doing before and how I was taught, and the, you know, so. You're going to bump gonna, your head along the way. Yeah, I think I'm, I, and I did, and I did, and I think I'm going to do that, and, you know. Well, my advice um, to you is to establish somewhere, some place where you yeah. centralize your work, and. Well, I, I had it, that's the thing, I had a website, but because I was on disability, it had all, like, my fine art, some of my portfolio from, uh, like, commercial photography and all that. No, you new stuff, yeah, this stuff. And, 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 and the domain name came up for renewal, and I was like, well. You know, I'm not a photographer. I'm not. I'm disabled. I can't afford this. I'm not really doing any work, so I let it lapse. And uh, you know, now I'm like, well, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start that up again. And, and you know, um, and if nothing else, just use it free. I'm about to say, mine is free. Yeah. yeah. And it, it is the easiest way for me to make sure that people can get the information out. Like, I try not to put a whole bunch of ads on my shit, but I yeah. do have ads because. I don't want to depend on it like because the people support me are people who are robbing Peter to pay Paul who are going through similar experiences who can relate to my arguments you know what I mean and so I don't want to continue to be like hey y'all I need you to like break the bank again yeah. to try to donate for I can so I can do this well, that's the thing is like I'm lost, trying to find a way to like you know yeah. what I mean to be more self-sufficient yeah. the difference is I also don't want to be beholden to an editor exactly. you know what I mean yeah. I don't want to be beholden to some corporate entity or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've, I mean, I, I've, I've been. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. You know, I've been living, living off of money I don't have, you know, credit to do this, and I have not made a single penny. And so, yes, I would say that in this 
right today, I'm leaving tomorrow morning, I would say that my entire experience now has been as a citizen independent journalist for the people. And, and I came out for the people because I was originally coming out for the movement and I agree with every single thing that, you know, I, I, I mean, I, I can go on and on about that, my views and my ideologies and everything. But I came out and, and when I decided to bring my camera, I was like, well, here's, you know, I know what I'm going to shoot. You, you got know. some nice pictures with this thing, y'all. And this isn't even the the fucking sniper. Line. Well, send me some shots that I can share. I'll make yeah. if you can watermark them first or something. That'd be awesome because, like I said, I download shit and just upload them. And I will make it like super obnoxious across like an entire. I mean, thing. just for the purposes of yeah, photo credit, you know what I mean? Like typically, I, it's like I free share everything, so people don't really trip off of that. But yeah. you do some amazing work. I've Thank seen you. some of your photos, Thank so you. like. You know, yeah, I mean, do that only, and send them to me. Yeah, I can share. Yeah, the only ones that have been published are three from Argus. Argus picked up three, and I posted like five or six on my Twitter from when Reb and, uh, and Stack got targeted the other night. Okay. Uh, that's when I got out the big. The, the, the I don't want some of those pictures of me on the Mike Brown car. Oh, yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I got so many now that, it, you know. That I'm going to be sending out the people that I know, like Bassem, you know, and all these people that I've been seeing on Twitter, all these people I've been seeing on streams, all the streamers, you know, I'm going to be sending, you know, because, you know, I mean, what else am I going to do with them? You know? Well, I want to say that I appreciate you, first of all, following me on Twitter and then coming to introduce yeah. yourself and getting to know me and being a supporter and then ending up documenting some things yourself. I just want to say I definitely appreciate the fact that you have given 100% participation to the movement as much as you can. As much as I, can. I definitely feel like if we all do as much as we can, we can get a lot fucking done, but we need more people yeah. to kind of, you know, come out there, comfort zone a little bit. That, and that's what it is. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, I wish I could. But there is always something you can do. Right. You know what I mean? And I understand. That's why I like when people retweet me, even if there's nothing else that they can do except for yeah. try to spread the word. Yeah. I definitely appreciate yeah. that. You know what I mean? So. And I'm new to Twitter and I started Twitter when Mike Brown got shot pretty much and like I used to think it was like I'm eating a sandwich today you know or like the sandwich is great or like I'm well, at Starbucks with my friend well Courtney you know, if you want to get to know him more his Twitter is at B Hayes B H A Y E S seven four three so um you can tweet at him he's been nothing but civil and nice to me so I'm sure he will welcome conversation and he knows who you are so yeah I know yeah I mean, you know so yeah if you want to follow her yeah if you want to talk to him a bit more I'm sure he will be open to it Courtney yeah I've listened to some of her shows and stuff he, yeah he said he didn't listen to some of your shows and things corn dog so I'm gonna uh, walk around I definitely appreciate you leaving tomorrow. Yeah, 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 All right, push that thing to the side. Let me get a again. hug. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll it see was you very again. good meeting you. Yeah, I'll see you in Twitterverse, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll see you around. You know, I mean, you're fucking in Oakland. I'm in LA. You know, yeah. LA, you know, well, I'll, yeah. I'll and I'll be back here probably. Okay. <laughs> Every time I turn around, it's like modified. He's gonna be a snowman in a minute. <laughs> uh, Jeff Hagerdorn08 just posted it, you guys. It's B H A Y E S 743 on Twitter. Huh? I got it because later on when I look at the footage, when I turn the light off, it be hella dark and you can't see shit. So I know it'd be uncomfortable, but I just be trying. To, I do apologize. <laughs> What's your name? Bella. Bella. Where you from, Bella? Huh? Where you from? Oakland. Oh. Uh huh. She from the CA, baby. CA. For like two, two and a half weeks. Two and a half weeks. Uh huh. Why don't you come kick? <laughs> I give you some real press for real. Some real press for real, huh? Only in the STL. Only in the STL. And these motherfuckers fucking my job.
Oh yeah, I'm talking, they, they writing shit. Well, they like, this, these motherfuckers are crazy. These motherfuckers are retarded. Hey, bro, don't put me on camera, I'm drunk. Because <laughs> <laughs> that fella don't put me on camera. Man. <laughs> Man, everybody is just hanging out, having a good time. This is pretty much what it's been all night, you guys. Huh? Yeah, you know, I can't have them out here when the police get to acting crazy. I can't focus because I'd be worried about my baby. You know, they kill our babies. Well, what's called? Where is it? I don't know. I haven't seen that shit. I've been asking people where he's at. I saw him earlier. Yeah, well. But, but when I leave, though. Okay. Your hair warm, sis. I'm okay. Oh, yeah, no, the hair keeps the head together. It's okay, the fingers that be triggered out. That. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, though. This is awesome. There's hot tea and cocoa and coffee and there are coats and blankets and snacks and there's community. I love it. Y'all know I'm a sucker for this kind of shit. <laughs> I love it. I do. And you know why I really love it? Because this is all in like the name of fuck the police. Like we are tired of your shit. But it looks like this. That's the cold part about it. People are not hella violent and breaking shit. I'm like, I don't know what CNN is even posting anymore because I've definitely stopped watching them except for like when I yelled at that lady, which is pretty funny. But... Yes, <laughs> This is community. I don't know. It don't always look like what people want it to look like, but that don't even matter. Go back to Oakland. I will at some point. I'm an Oaklander. My city loves me, and I'll be back at some point. Don't do that. But right now, we need to support Ferguson. So I think that everybody in Oakland who is who is politically minded, who is motivated to do something, should always be paying attention to Ferguson and do their best to support the movement here. I think supporting Ferguson is supporting Oakland and New York and LA and Boston and Chicago and Florida and North Carolina and Texas and Arizona. I mean, the list goes on. Like everywhere that there's a neighborhood where black people are being oppressed by white supremacy and white privilege in the United States. Like, it's starting here. People are highlighting those issues because this is so much bigger than Mike Brown or Von Derrick or Alan Bluford or Oscar Grant. This is much bigger than that. My charge. Officer Dowley, what you say? We've been sitting here watching your stream. Some of us have and we're going that's all i see i can't see the rest of your message officer dally oakland was strong today with 300 marchers in support of ferguson that's what's up i don't know what the pretend cop is saying i also but you know what it has been confirmed that the streamers uh twitter feeds and things have been posted on the uh st louis cop talk cop watch cop something website whatever um, and that's fine. I don't want no racist ass talk. Like, I definitely have enough of that. Um, and, but you know what? It's your right to say whatever the fuck it is that you want to say. And who am I to tell you not to? Because I say a whole bunch of shit and that's fine. But if you want to actually have a real conversation with me, I welcome that. I am anti-establishment, but I want to understand the thought process. I really do want to understand the thought process that allows you to dress up in riot gear and come out against protesters who have fucking drums and shit. Seriously. Because the people that are playing the drums typically are children. I'm like, I really do want to have some of these conversations and understand the thought process because I don't understand it. I'll ask you only once to please be considerate, to please be considerate of what, Officer Daly, we are sending you to special FEMA camps in the, <laughs> to the rehab and the riot police. I don't want to go to none of that damn FEMA camp. Okay, that's fine. Ban them then. That's fine. Fuck it. FEMA camps? Man, Courtney, do you remember during Occupy, I would tell y'all Brownie would run under the bed and I'd be like, don't go under there, Brownie, it's a FEMA camp. <laughs> it's a FEMA camp. 
That was like a fucking joke. Like the first few months of Occupy, everything was a FEMA camp. We just kept y'all. I was like, if we get locked up in FEMA camps, I want to be with y'all. <laughs> I bought my firefighter sunglasses earlier today. I was too hot. Hi from Portland. Hi from Ferguson. By way of Oakland. Is that how it works? Hi from. Yeah. I'm not there. You got a cord? You can plug into this. They got two ports. Pull it out. Plug it in. You can see. Man, I'm telling you, right now it's my feet and my hands, but I got my boots. I should just wore them. You should be charging. Hey, watch out for the cord. Like, don't just stick it in there. Like, the cord's got to be pointing to the outside of the pocket here, like that. Thank you. I got a system. <laughs> There's an organized system going on in my pockets. <laughs> My Twitter handle is at B E L L A E I K O. That is B as in Bella, E L L A E I K as in King O. I don't know how many followers I got, but I have 416 people watching the stream right now. See right there, it's viewers. It goes up and down. So I'm like, that's a approximate count. <laughs> what are they doing? What's that? They look like a big ass pad for like an oil change. <laughs> Man, Mary M625, I have to thank the support because if people weren't watching, then what am I doing this for? Whoa! I couldn't even turn around fast enough to catch that police officer smashed down the street. We gonna have all the blunts in the FEMA camp, Courtney. <laughs> Wait, what, Courtney? <laughs> they go. Hey, I wasn't done talking. Hi, Keith. I'm good. How are you? Hi, the streamers. Hey, guys. Are you want audio? Yeah. You have you? Hey, do you know what's up with the arrest tonight? Anything? A bit, yeah, I do. Do you want to give us an update? Do you mind? So here's like, I can tell you it's like totally public. So I don't know what time it was. Okay, so I was in an event um, for uh, LGBTQ Ferguson stuff uh -huh. in South St. Louis, like half an hour from here. Uh -huh. It was really nice, uh, and I kept getting messages on my phone that we need a legal observer. Um, so uh, one guy, uh, we asked him to go, and he went. He was really helpful. Two people were arrested down the street. Were you here for that? Yeah, okay. I mean, so I, I recorded a few of us today. <laughs> okay, so this was like around like 7.30 or something. I don't know, I was in my event. Mm. So, um, we got out, we made a caravan on some of us who wanted to come here from the event. Uh, we drove up here and on the way, and well, we did this, sorry, we did this because there was police cars parked behind our cars when we got out to them. Okay. Uh, on the way, undercover cop car got between us and uh, like, so I was the second to last car, and they got between me and the, second, me and the last car and like stopped at a yellow light. Messed up our trip thing. We never found those people. Uh, they showed up later, um, and then half an hour later, those people were arrested. Okay. So I don't know if that was 
all involved, um, but it was two ministers with the Central Reform Congregation. Okay. Um, both of them um, are queer. One of them who was arrested actually was the moderator of the event I was just at. Oh, wow. Uh, and the other person uh, who they arrested just now was a legal observer. Right, no, I, I watched that happen. Yeah, he's out here every day. He comes out here on his lunch break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He walks away. Um, he's awesome, and he would have been at my event, uh, except he... Um, his legal came, observing. He came here because we didn't have anyone else. So he he was only out here because I asked him to be. Um, I mean, he would have been anyway, but I feel really bad because the people I know, one of them is a really good friend of mine, are now in jail. Um, they didn't do anything wrong. It's like it's almost like they grabbed like the most people, peaceful people possible. I have no idea why. They, I saw him grab a guy at, um, out of the front, uh, two guys actually, and drag them across the street. I don't have any of their information. Oh, but I was able to film the arrest. Here? Yeah, right here, right in, right, right here in the driveway. Are you talking about Matt Love? And I don't know their names, but it was right before the legal observer got arrested, I believe. They were yeah, arrested right guy. here. Black people. Yeah. 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 So those people were um, actually a queer couple. Okay. And um, they're they're both ministers. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, I I filmed this. No, there were five. Five. Well, I filmed the ones that happened here. So yeah, if you guys need my footage, it's on it's on there. My stream is saying thank you because the legal observers are amazing. So thank you guys. Well, oh, awesome. Uh, oh, by the way, when I'm telling you this information, I'm not doing this as a legal observer. Right. I'm doing this as someone who helps with jail support. Okay. So those are different organizations. And right. I happen to like help with both. So, okay. Um, legal observers do not like tell people things. We just like observe, right? So um, right now I'm not wearing the hat. <laughs> right. And I'm talking. Um, we have heard that the people who were arrested are on their way to St. Louis County. Uh, which is in Clayton. Um, it's about half an hour from here. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, maybe if you do it, you drive. It's half an hour from right here if you don't want to get pulled over. Um, what else? Anything else? Oh yeah, by the way, I'm uh, Keith Rose, if you want to know who I am. I'm K Rose on Twitter. At K W R O S E. Okay, K W Rose, sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And uh, I think I'm going to head down there in case these people need rides home from jail. Right, well, you guys, if you need yeah, updates, follow follow Keith on Twitter at KWROSE. Yes. He's always been very good at giving us updates with the arrest. Good night. I also don't know how to use a live stream, so like I can't ever watch these <laughs> things on them. I've been um, having trying to teach myself the last like, yeah, week right? and a half. I, know how to I just figured out mine a few hours ago, probably. So my coffee's gotten cold as shit. And I'm gonna go throw my cup away. It archives it all online. I, I have shit tons of film from the you know, last two months. So, um, and one more thing. Uh, if your people are at all interested in like helping people get out of jail if they've been arrested, there's this great um, secure website that was put up a, probably two months ago now. Um, for the uh, more jail support, mm -hmm. more is an organization in St. Louis that helps us with their uh, nonprofit status. Okay. So if you go to bit.ly slash Ferguson Bail Fund, you can um, securely and potentially anonymously donate to the fund to get people out of jail. And can you the, can you post that on your Twitter feed? I can. I can do that. Yeah. Hey, you guys, can you follow K W R O S E K W Rose on Twitter? He's gonna post another link for you to anonymously donate to the bail fund through the Moore organization. You could actually give your name as well. Yeah. This is a 501c3. So are these donations tax deductible? I I think they might be actually. Okay. So they let's get be. some. If if you if you can try to get some clarification on that, okay. so I can tell people that would be amazing. Okay. Um, so they can, can't they go to, to more the more website? Isn't well, there a link there? there I think, too, yeah, I think if they go to, I think, organizemo.org, there's also a link on that. Okay. Still, y'all, follow Keith anyway. Yeah. And, uh, and also follow, you follow the hashtag Ferguson Jail Support all together. Okay. And I'll have it, if you go through like the history of that, you can find the link really easy. Yeah. Okay. All right, hashtag Ferguson Jail Support, y'all. I don't know why in the fuck I didn't know about that hashtag. Oh, look, follow me right now. Look, there you go. Wait. There you go. Jail support number. So if you guys are interested, send donations for tampons ASAP. So Terry and Brian, I assume those are your people. Thank you, guys. Look at that. Follows. Uh, also, someone says you're a good person. That's too, oh, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, y'all, thank you for following Keith. I only know like 14 people.
hold me right now. Awesome. <laughs> so if you guys want to help with the bail donations, that he's definitely one of the people who can point you in the right direction. Uh, that's one of the things I love about the live stream is that I get to interview individuals who are on the ground who can give accurate information. And you can contact them if you want to support the movement at all. Um, if you've been watching my stream, then you started to recognize the familiar faces. And so these are the people who you can contribute to or speak to about what the movement actually needs and not worry about your donations or whatever being lost somewhere or not actually trickling down to help the movement, yeah, like, which has been problematic. Every every single like penny that I know of at least that this, when people get bonded out of jail, it's all coming out of this bank account. Like this is the this is the only account that's actually making shit happen. Like, okay. I, what I would suggest, just as someone who's wary of, because I've seen fake accounts and everything. Not maybe not for jail support, but I have seen on Twitter shit being spread about fake donation links and stuff uh, for protests. For not just this, not just Ferguson, but but protests occupies in general. And I would say to double check, triple check things. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to you know organizemo.org. Go to his thing. You know, I mean, yeah. That's, well, that's what I'm that's saying. That's what I love about the live streams because you get to notice stuff intimately for yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then you don't be like, oh, I want to donate and here's some random like link somewhere that right. paid for a fucking Google ad to be at the top and is accepting hella donations and it's never yeah. making it down here. Like, that's ridiculous. We are in the information age. You can make a free website. You can pay 99 cents and get a really professional looking website or some shit like that. Seriously. You know, and if you're making a lot of money because you're accepting donations from people being philanthropic and empathetic to the movement, I mean, it's almost worth the investment. So you do have to watch out, you know what I mean, for people doing that. And that's another, like I said, another reason why I love the live stream, because you get to know the people. Like, you can find out. Good night. I need to have a personal moment with you guys tonight. I'm sorry. Sorry. I love your hair. She has new hair. Yes, she does. I like it. It's, 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 no, it's like it's like two weeks at this point. Oh wow! Oh, you know. But it, our days blend together out here. Yeah, fuck, it's seventy-five. No, I was. You know what I said? You know what? I only been out here for a few weeks and feel like we've been out together. Like I know y'all for hella long. That's all I was like. Bella's my sister. I've had like four people tell me I look like Bella. She's like, hey, it's Bella, your sister. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. <laughs> Bye, Bella. All right. Good night, y'all. Be safe. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. It's cold as shit. It's late, but there's still beautiful energy. Good night. You know what? I just found out about the PO box. Y'all just gotta be careful with that to donate for like packages. I thought somebody said y'all put a PO box out if people wanted to send shit. Okay, so let's renege on that P.O. box, y'all. And that is like, that was for OBS, and that don't even really... Yeah, okay, so this is Netta right here. My two cents, we was talking about that P.O. box. If you want to send shit, contact me. I'll figure out the right people to get it to. Do not send it to that P.O. box. This is the shit I'm talking about. Everybody was like, Netta put it out. And I was like, well, if Netta put it out, it's okay. But here is Netta right here. changed so yeah, so here's Netta right here, updated information. If you want to get some shit to people, contact me. I will figure it out. I can verify that, too. The P.O. Box thing, there was, like, an issue with that. So, yeah, she's totally on point with that. Okay. We're going to find a new system. Also, okay. um, if you really want to support us, if you don't want to find um, support us, like, with direct cash, which is totally fine. Right. Um, jail support, we've made a uh, wedding registry on Amazon, uh, and people can... Um, Give us stuff that we need. Actually, I'm gonna update that probably. In the I next just have a wish list, but whatever. Like they have a registry because that way two people could. Ah, um, oh, okay, okay. You know, me and my, you know, uh, uh, your your partner. Uh, sorry, all right. right, Ferguson Bay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So uh, yeah. we're gonna update that. Right now we got like chargers and things like that on there that have been like awesome, but I haven't been using it lately. But if your people want to support us with materials home. through Amazon, that's totally good. Oh, good night, love. Good night. Good night. They don't say yeah, that. I will. Well, you know, post the link. If you put at Bella Aiko, I'll make sure to retweet it and I do what I can. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll definitely try to get that out there as much okay. as possible. Okay. This is awesome. They got, a they got like a tarp going? Yeah, they, they, they got to put like a little tent going. Hey! <laughs> and it's in the tree! <laughs> I'm in Oakland. I love it. Look, they need gloves. And hand warmers. If Amazon has those little packs of hand warmers, those things are fucking amazing. Bye. Good night, y'all. Be safe. You too. Look, there goes some hand warmers, Keith. 
Keith, they got some hand wipers. No, 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 I'm good. I got drugs in my bag. I have to do it. Actually, we'll do it. I think they put it for the wedding registry so two people can like maintain it or whatever. <laughs> um, I'll be right back. I gotta throw my cup away. Every time I get in the car, I gotta empty my pocket of like trash from eating and like cigarette butts. I, I do not litter. As you can see, there are always garbage bags around. People have been putting their stuff up, even the garbage. You see her with the broom? The garbage, the garbage has been swept into a pile. It's gonna get picked up. They have created. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait a minute. I I kept getting distracted. All right. <laughs> There's a crane. I should fold some cranes for y'all. I can do that really well. But my fingers are fucking frozen. Oh, that's your real hair. Yes, it is my real hair. I'm sorry. No, stop hitting me. Stop, cut it off. Why would I cut my hair off? You don't need it. You can donate it. At least cut like this much. Oh, fuck that shit. That's a no. That's a no. Love my hair. They have cranes and ornaments, and they're in a tree, and they have this tarp thingy. I don't even know, but I like it. Bye. Huh? J-S-U-M-T-H-I-N-3 on Twitter. Uh, J-S-U-M-T-H-I-N-D Mitchell on Facebook. And Instagram is just J-something. <laughs> it's freaking cold, y'all. They should have never water. None with taste. They should have never water. What are they doing? It's a tent. It's a tree house. It's a structure. Okay. They, they work. They work. <laughs> it's the supply tent. There's supplies. There's water. There's fucking gloves. There are hats. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. I used to be under the radar. doing that. You still need to pull that back. Y'all go ahead and do it. You know, I, I've been hard with my kids. Put them through law school. I don't feel like I'm with nobody else. Do it your way. So they learn. You ain't gonna, they ain't gonna listen. You can't get nobody to listen. That's why I work by myself. I got a construction company. Now you oh, really? Yeah. I got on my bulldozer, I get on my everything, my bobcat, I do it by myself. The only time I have a problem when I get somebody else. Huh. If I don't do that, I do real good. You gotta let them, you know, gotta let them bump their heads. Yeah. All you gotta do is push that up. I'm just happy to see them working together doing it, up, you know what I mean? So much weight yeah, but that weight's gonna help hold it. So you gotta do that. Go I think she's having last call for coffee and tea over there. Okay. Last call for coffee and tea! <laughs> Last call for coffee and tea. At that truck over there. I'm loud as hell, y'all. <laughs> this is why I don't always do it because I need to preserve my voice for emergency situations. I'm doing it now. I will never get like this except this thing has a scarf that gave me shit. Man, where y'all get the scarves? Because I need a fucking scarf. Walk he walked up like, I thought I was kidding, man. I know, I need a scarf, man. My neck be cold as shit. Like, y'all be seeing me, I be like. <laughs> I feel like a fat person. I ain't got no neck. Oops. She's so dumb. You got that, right? Huh? I'm not the plumber. Don't put that on the light. I don't know what just happened, but it's already there. <laughs> Right. Like, I don't know. I don't even know. This is the real heart. That's not even that. Good night. Be safe. All right, y'all be safe. Bye. Love y'all. I got the stream. I'm going to be good. Good night, y'all. Oh, good night. Good night. You can order it. You can order a brand new bullet hoop. I just said, just ask CNN how loud she could be. 
I said, I'm loud as hell, y'all. Somebody came on the stream and said, ask CNN how loud she can be. She said, ask them 30 million questions in one minute. Look at Bella go. <laughs> article that I saw on Facebook earlier today that has a, a link of like so, somebody else's video, not one of our streams, but somebody who was taking video during the, that night during CNN. Uh -huh. And they're like, no, when, when protesters thought the cameras were off, and I'm like, bullshit. We didn't give a fuck about the cameras. The, the our cameras are loud, always running. The two loudest people were streaming live at the time. We were holding the camera and filming ourselves do that know. shit. I know. I know. Like Reb was standing on the other side looking at both of them. I was filming you guys doing it. I know. I don't give a fuck. Look, I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Fuck seeing it. What? I don't give a fuck seeing it. What? I don't give a shit. Like they talking about ask all the cops in Oakland how loud Mel can be. And there's an article on what the fuck I can't remember what website, but there is an article that said the Oakland police have the L rat. Occupy Oakland has the Bell rat. <laughs> Bell is loud as fuck. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's a it's a talent. <laughs> Well, I just, I remember back during Occupy, I used to watch your stream and Tim Pools and Spencer and Oak. Oak for show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Oak, yeah is he still streaming? I don't know, but the truth of the matter is without Oak for show, I would have never came out and started streaming. You know what I mean? Like he did. There's a lot of there's a lot of controversy in the streamer community and amongst activists, especially within the Occupy movement. But I will say that without Spencer, I would have never came out and started streaming. It was watching his stream, and honestly, through the first like month or so of streaming, he was very helpful and guiding me through things. And I also got to see a lot of the stress that he went through when the camera went off. So, you know, I, those are the things that I will say about Spencer. You know what I mean? Like that, and, and, then, I, and then I step aside. Like, you know, I let the, the arguments take place, whatever. But, yeah. Temple. I don't know what to say about that thing. <laughs> I just know that none of the people of color streams get put up and that always bothers me. Like you stream don't never feature people of color streams. And I'm like, when these are social and economic issues, especially in Ferguson when they're highlighting like a lot of the racial divide that happens across this country, it's like it's like passive aggressively reinforcing the stereotype when there are people of color who are streaming, but they go, they still like are the muted voice. They still are without a platform. You know what I mean? That is like really to be compared to other platforms. It's like, I still don't have as much attention as I'm screaming from the fucking sidewalk to get, you know what I mean? And then when I pick up my phone and I try to magnify that voice, it's still some kind of way that I will get put to the bottom. You know what I mean? And, but, it's okay, you know what I mean? Because we do have other people. Like, I love Stack It Short. I love you. I love Revolutionary Z. Like, I don't never say this from a jealous standpoint, you know what I mean, or a competitive oh, yeah. standpoint. It's just like a critique on the things that happen, especially while we talk well, about not, it. I'm not, I don't go out of my way to, like, try and get viewers or anything. I've just, I've been filming yeah, like cops right. for, like, All right, good night. You too. months. And I just, you know, and find the, the you know, live streaming, you know, it help it archive it online i don't have i i have like you know two months of footage just trapped in my computer right now right right you need an external hard drive i'm gonna tell you that right now yeah yeah so you know but the live stream it just you know archives it online and i don't have to mess with it yeah <laughs> Well, yeah, but after a while, they delete them, so you need to upload them to YouTube. Okay. Yeah, 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 because I lost a lot of my Occupy Oakland videos long, by not backing them up. How long do they it's, It varies because they only give you a certain amount of gigs for memory on the, the server. You know what I'm saying? And so you got to make sure that you back shit up because if it's not a popular enough video that where it's viewed for them to keep it, then it'll get archived for a while, and then it'll just, like, you'll pull up the link, it, you'll see a screenshot of the shit and pull up a link and it'll be like the content is not available content is not available so you want to make sure to back it up and, and upload it to different platforms that'll save it more permanently and realize that you don't own your videos when you film through Ustream 
if you want to give me Rebel Z quality live free for me, I got to pay for a Ustream account, and honestly, I need a better camera. Right now, I'm operating with the Samsung Galaxy S5, which is one of the best mobile cameras that is out right now. But, I mean, it's just the easiest setup for me, but we would have to research it. Definitely, if you want better video quality, though, I'd have to have a paid account through a Ustream. I'm going through the chat feed a little bit, so excuse me, you guys, if I'm a little late. I don't know how long I'm here for Lynn MC, uh, but I'm doing the best I can while I am here. Honestly, I'm surviving off of donations and everything because I do have to use my income to keep my household running in California. The little bit that is left over, I pour into this. So I'm here for as long as I can get support to stay here. And that's the honest truth. Um, Power to the people, loudest I heard you was it slew and for damn good reason, but I've just, and then it cuts off. I don't know what the rest you said. Yeah. Uh, okay, niggers are loud. Yeah, I cuts a lot and whatever else you just said. So yeah, that's probably a reason. I don't really care. Tim is mainstream media, Courtney. Yeah, then what they say is that you get 30 days or longer on a free account. So you got to back that up. The easiest way to back it up is upload it to your YouTube. But in order to upload them to your YouTube, you got to go and change your account to a director account so you can upload stuff longer than 15 minutes. So you got to do that first. And then link your YouTube to your Ustream and just upload the video. Okay. Tweet me if you need to talk about that. No, thank you, love, but thank you very much. You guys have a good night. Okay, power to the people. You just started following me last month, and you took it to those, and then it cuts off. I can't see the whole uh, thing. Lynn MC, I accept donations through PayPal. My PayPal email is Bella Echo Media at me.com. B E L L A E I K O M E D I A at me.com. I have been trying to keep a running tab of my donations on my website. I have been slacking on that, I'm not gonna lie. Between trying to keep everything together with the baby and getting stuff together so I can, you know, film and trying to get my videos uploaded and everything, that, that has kind of taken a back seat. Um, but I am for complete transparency. I'm doing my best to get caught up with that. I definitely appreciate everybody who has been supporting me. Um, I've been getting rental cars because I needed to make sure that I could get around with the baby, thank you. Um, the night that I was detained by the police, my ride had left and had the car seat and the stroller in the car and wasn't answering its phone and my baby was at the babysitter and I realized that I needed to have more independence as far as transportation is concerned so my donations have been going to rental cars. I've been looking into purchasing a vehicle here. I could always sell it when I get ready to leave but um, having a vehicle that would actually be mine within this state actually would be cheaper and drastically reduce my overhead which would allow me to be more responsible with the contributions that i receive but at bare minimum i would need like a thousand dollars for a car so you know i'm trying to figure it out i really am trying to figure it out but i do appreciate all the help that everybody has given me um, you've also seen that the streamer has been tar have been targeted consistently, so the rental car thing has also been like a, a blessing because I haven't been in the same car consistently to be targeted while I'm driving around with my child. It's a shame that I have to think like this in order to, to just come out here and film shit, first of all. Mel Richie, by, by the way, Bella, not a pig fellow supporter. This is a travesty. I don't want my kids to, and then it cuts off. Two white students who were telling you to be patient. Oh, yeah, power to the people. I couldn't even handle that. I've seen Spencer on Twitter. Y'all can still look for Oak for Show. I believe he has some good political discourse on his Twitter. I, I've seen that, but he was a little bit more electoral politics than me. 
so Mel Richie, a world full of racism and oppression. If you need a ride, I can always help. Can't, I don't know what the rest of that says, but let me know. Tweet at me later. I'll try to follow you and we can talk a little bit more in detail. But things, um, when I'm on the stream, it doesn't allow me to see the entire comment. It cuts off, so you guys will have to keep it short. I'm sorry. People are fighting over me for their <laughs> before anyone else. They bay. I think it's a total of like 15 people out here. It's got a lot of people. This reminds me of the late night Occupy Oakland. We used to be sitting there in those little, like where the benches are and everything, trying to stay warm, <laughs> up all night on the internet, in the trees, trying to not be arrested for being on the public street <laughs> as grown as natives to the city. It just, this is what it reminds me of. <laughs> Hey, Fire Fam, let's talk about that later. Can you email me? You got you got my email, right? Definitely would appreciate uh, some hosting and all that for my website. Probably would be a lot easier for me to edit it, too. Okay, at Mel Richie, you got to tweet me. You got to tweet at me. I always check my Twitter after I finish streaming. Same thing to you, Fire Fam. You got to tweet at me. I always check my Twitter, uh, my Twitter, um, but you got I, I got to get swamped with comments from the stream. So like after I go down for the night, when y'all are saying good night, tweet at me or just send me an email directly uh, at b e l l a e i k o m e d i a at me dot com. If you send me an email, uh, we can have this conversation, and yo, then you won't get lost in my Twitter feed. I don't know. Uh, I have no idea if I got it. Uh, Janice? Janice? The only thing is, Fire Fam, about my website is that I've been printing down business cards with the Weebly thing, so I don't know like how I would get that to redirect, but I'm sure we can talk about that in more detail off the stream. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, I, I've heard that all five people are at um, St. Louis County Jail. Okay. Um, and hopefully they will be released uh, um, with warrant. Uh, something, I don't know what it's called. I forgot the official stuff. The point is, I don't think that we're going to have to pay much bond tonight, which is really helpful. Okay, great. Um, and they should be getting out starting in a couple hours. Okay. Um, so they're not on 24 hour holds. Okay. Which is good news. All I got to say is if I go to jail, I definitely don't want to deplete your bail fund. Please get me out so I can go get my baby. <laughs> I mean... If you can. I understand. Yes. No, no. Basically, the mandate for jail support is everyone who could potentially be seen as, like, protesting out here uh, is on our list to get out. Okay. Um, so, for example, uh, there was a person who I think um, was, uh, like, just kind of, like, walking by and was arrested at one point. Um, got them out, no questions asked. Because if the police are arresting you for walking down the street, just like you know, if the police are arresting you for protesting, that's bullshit. Right. And the people who are helping run um, the jail support see all of that as you know, completely um, just problematic with the system. So we would get you out no matter what. Now, if you want to help pay it back, you know, whatever, that's your business. But, right. No, no, no. I mean, I definitely think people who would have contributed specifically to my bail would then donate to the bail support. If you guys, I, I have, I'm not even operating under a doubt with that. You need the yeah. key. Well, what's really helpful that some people don't realize is the money that they we are pocket. putting out is um, hopefully not all like just going down the drain. So when people get out of jail, we have them um, sign over the rest of the money to us. Right, 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 right. So that when everything happens, um, like when their trial or whatever is over. Over the money is refunded. It'll be, yeah, but that takes a while. So right now yeah. we have a flux of cash. But the money won't just be like thrown at the system and kept by the police. So basically, you guys, because you're talking about they're, they're arresting people to keep money going into the system. So at Occupy Oakland, you know, our bails were considerably more. We would be arrested. Our bail would be like $25,000. And so we would only be able to afford to pay a percentage of that. And when you go through the bail bonds and you only pay a percentage, you never get that back, which That's means right. that money is put into the system. Mm -hmm. However, in St. Louis, the bails are considerably lower. I'm like, I'm talking about it's it's absolutely ridiculous. They're like $300 for their bail. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes it's like $1,000 so at sometimes 
the most. A lot of people are being released on their own recognizance. Right, so right, right, right. Something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but really right, nice. so basically what I'm saying is like the bails are so low in comparison to what was happening in California, if you guys were following that, um, that when they paid these $300, $500, $1,000, when the trials are over, the money is refunded because that was the full bail amount. It was not a percentage of. It's just the way that the system works. So for people who are asking, like, are we pouring money back into the police department? Um, unless they're like using it and then like it's kind of like banks do or whatever you know using it and then like taking the interest off and shit like that unless they're doing it that way then we aren't actually putting money into the system they're just holding our money and hope and and probably in hopes of depleting the funds so that people will get scared and go home but if the support that we received in Oakland is any indication of the amount of support that Ferguson will receive I have no doubt in my mind that with these this amount of bail being like significantly lower that that will not be a concern however a tactic is to set the court dates back as far as possible so that once again they can like you know extend the process so the money will be lost in the system for just a little bit longer so um i i don't know exactly this is not like a legal opinion um but what i've heard and i don't want to like try, try to use specifics that would be wrong but there is some kind of statute or ordinance um or law um, for this area that says that if it's a misdemeanor, um, the thing cannot be more than a thousand dollars. Okay. I'm pretty sure that is the way it goes. But, okay. Um, don't quote me on that. So a thousand dollars is a lot of what we've been getting out. So earlier it was less, but then yeah. they realized that we had more money, so they made that higher. And, and they're charging people with misdemeanors instead of infractions with a lot of these things. Oh, it might be infractions. I don't know. Might be ordinance violations or a thousand. I'm not sure, but either way, a thousand dollars is like basically we haven't been paying much more than a thousand dollars for almost anybody. All right. Okay. And, and and really, that seems to be the cap off, you guys. Like a lot of the like a lot of the bails, from what I've understood, have been around like three to five hundred dollars. So they like I said, in comparison to the twenty five hundred and seventeen hundreds and things like that, we were dropping at Occupy. Like this is really cheap. <laughs> um, and they are getting their money back. So that does kind of address like, are we putting money back into the system? And actually losing the money that we are investing in bail. No, we are not, but we are securing the freedom of our protesters. And these are political prisoners. Like we knew what happened in Occupy Oakland. They would attack prisoners in the cells and then charge them with extra charges when they were in jail. Mm -hmm. So like expediting their release is something that we need to do, especially if we're showing support to them. And I mean, it's not only just if they get attacked, okay, which is like a less likely thing. Right, right, um, right. Very likely thing is these people um, have been sprayed in the face with uh, chemicals and the entire time they're in there, they're not they're being treated. Exactly. Themselves. So it's uh, problematic. Or they were beaten. Um, and not receiving and medical not attention. Medical attention. And then also while they're in there, their wounds are um, healing or becoming like less apparent. And so it's harder for us to document. Right, right, um, right. If we want to do any lawsuits later. Yeah, so the sooner we get them out, the better. But the other thing is, like, this jail is just not fucking fun. Right. right? Like, so I mean, I spent 24 hours in this motherfucking building right here, the Ferguson Police Department, before it was under construction. Because I was arrested like way back in the day uh, before they were doing construction here. And there were one person cells and at one point they had nine of us in it like they were just like throwing us all in there that was like august 11th so um do they have sign do they put signs outside the sales that were like protesters or ferguson or no, whatever so when um th that place at that point i don't know what it is now because they were remodeling it right there was only 10 cells um one of them they were using for putting people in and out another one they were using for storage so of all the people they had us like crammed into a few um but no we were the only people in there were either protesters or the, the looters um all at the same time and we were we all could see each other it was like real bars it was you know really weird um we were all just hanging out i actually uh i mean when you get really bored um you could do all kinds of things right so we did like some chanting but then we also did like some freestyle rapping and then <laughs> i was like well what is it that i always like ne i always want to do is i never have time for so i like yoga so i fucking taught yoga classes <laughs> with the looters to participate and it was nice yeah we all told our stories i mean it was 24 hours of hell but it was definitely 24 hours of it solidarity. like in a bonding experience yeah. most definitely we all yeah. on facebook afterwards <laughs> all right yes he's in jail right now okay okay well thank you very much keith i definitely appreciate the update okay. as always okay and uh i'll d i'll get to twitter and retweet all the stuff awesome all right awesome thank you guys so you guys see like I said there can't be more than 15 20 people out here right okay maybe maybe 25 people out here um, I don't know if the plan is to stay here all night I definitely hope that a line of riot police or somewhat aggressive ass police don't come fuck with this little structure right here you know that I'm not gonna be able to stay out all night y'all although there's only one uh, 
but it's fucking cool. <laughs> He's been riding around that dog. <laughs> right though, for real. Oh, your puppy is limping. His back foot. Okay. Well, sometimes if they lose a toenail or something like that, they'll limp for a while. And, and he probably ran in that glass too. Uh oh. Well, I hope he takes care of his puppy. I have a puppy. I love my dog. We out here see how warm as a motherfucker, you know. I got on a hoodie. I got on a uh, long sleeve up under that. Under that, I got on a long giant. Yeah, it's black. And then to top that off, I got on a sweater. To top that off, I got on a scully. Top that off, I got on gloves. Now, you know what I'm missing? Some heating pads. I will be right back. <laughs> so I have these gloves on, y'all. Okay. I don't know if y'all can see me very well, but like I got this. I done took some selfies. I think this will work. I got a coat on. It's zipped all the way up. I'm fucking freezing. <laughs> it's cold out here. There's, there's my breath. I can see it. <laughs> like that's not a cigarette. <laughs> Hey DJ, I don't know if anybody's aware of the eclipse. That's not something that I've heard them talking about. You know, and I definitely get supplies from the protests, um, but I also understand the fact that I've come from all the way from California and that I do have a lot of supporters. So I have uh, neglected to take some supplies that have shown up at the protests in hopes that I would be able to get my own because I don't want to deplete their supplies. Um, so like things like the hand warmers, I haven't went and gotten them. Like I just kind of make been making do with my gloves, but I definitely drink the hot drinks when they come out. Um, like the jacket, I know that I really need that, and they it would probably cost a significant amount of money. Plus, I don't usually have time to go to thrift stores and stuff like that to see what I could find that would be affordable. So. Um, you know, I, I definitely took advantage of that donation that came out. Um, but like you see that things are starting to happen. I just always want to take the time to say thank you. And I appreciate everybody who supports me. I could not do this without you guys. Um, I also want to let you know that I have a lot of faith in everybody that does support me because I did go home and get my baby and come back out here. Um, and that's how much faith I have in community you know what i mean like i just knew that i would come out here i'd be okay between everybody that supports me from home um and like from home i mean everybody that's watching me on the stream from home but also the protesters uh when i got out here and i have been embraced and i feel like these are my family now um the same way that i felt like you know various people from occupy oakland are my family so i just want to take time out to say that and i'm fucking free me i mean freezing Yes. Um, no, you know what? Um, my head is actually really fucking warm. Like, I have a lot of hair. My ears are actually even okay. Uh, my cheeks and my fingers and my ankles and my toes. <laughs> um, like, I could, you know, my neck a lot of the time gets really cold, so I could use a scarf. Um... I'm really worried that they're going to shut the city down and I haven't had supplies, but I would imagine that me being home with my family, we'd have water and all those types of things in the event that that happens. Uh, but what you know what I could use is a memory card for my phone. Um, I'm going to go add that on my Amazon wish list because in the event that the internet is shut down during the protest, if there is a no indictment, when there is a no indictment announcement made, uh, I need to be able to record hard video on my phone. and. Um, and upload that later. So uh, that, that is the request that I'm going to be making uh, from from my viewers. If you guys can help me get a very large memory card for my phone, <laughs> or two, or three. Okay. You're gonna keep streaming. I gotta go. Yeah, go ahead. I'm exhausted, but they're gonna need a streamer here in a few minutes. Yeah. I'm gonna be here for a little bit, but I do gotta go get the baby. It's one, so I'm like, it's kind of early. But I'm like, with that, that structure, I don't want to leave. Yeah, just... But I also know the police are watching my stream, so if I'm the last stream and I shut down, they may decide to take that time to come out here. Yeah, I know. Well, 
just keep an eye on things because there might be something important. Okay. Well, I'm just going to be here for a little bit. I'll probably turn your stream on in the car. Okay. Are you going are you going home or are you just going yeah. to go sit in the car? No, I got to go home. Okay. I'm All right. Well, good night, Miss Jupiter. Need to go out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, good night, Miss Jupiter. See you see you tomorrow. I see you tomorrow live screen. <laughs> good night. <laughs> Thank you guys for supporting me. Ooh, it's cold. Thank you, Rise PDX. If you could do that research for me and let me know what I actually need to do, I'll go put that on my uh, my wish list. I appreciate it. It's freaking cold. Y'all gonna hear me say that a million times because it's fucking cold. <laughs> really? <laughs> right? Hey. Awesome. Whatever. <laughs> come on, come over here. Yeah. Yeah, no, I know. So they. So you see, they're still cleaning up. They're sweeping, putting the garbage in it. <laughs> Courtney, are you still there? Andrew is asking, what's the beef against Temple? Temple, Temple, <laughs> Temple. Oh, that's my breath, y'all. I oh, ain't no cigarettes or nothing. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. A 128 gigabyte will work. Ferguson Live, thank you. What's going on, Joe? No, I'm the cutest thing out here. I'm the hottest thing out here. Yeah, so this is the Andy Worm parking lot, but Andy Worm is giving permission to the protesters to use his lot. And they have, one, every single night that I have been out here, I have seen them clean up after the protest was over. I've seen them, I have seen them sweeping, having garbage bags, and everything. Um, I even do my part, like here's another pile right here. They've been over here sweeping and cleaning up. I, like I said, every night that I go home, I have to empty my pockets for the cigarette butts and everything else. Because I definitely try not to dirty it up either. So, I mean, you know, why does CNN never stay and watch the protesters clean up after they're done? To say that they're not out here destroying the fucking city. Like, they are being respectful. Tim Tool is a real tool. He never takes his hat off. Y'all are crazy. All right, 128 gigabyte will work. I will put that on my, uh, damn, how many of y'all think, I, I mean, how many of those do you think I would need, uh, Ferguson Live, the 128 gigabyte memory cards? If things go down and I had to film like all day, you know what I mean, for like 10 hours or some shit like that, how long do you, I mean, how many of those do you think I would need? fucking cold. I need to warm up a little bit. Shit. Sorry, y'all. It's cold as hell in here. <laughs> it's cold as hell out there. I mean, shit. Shit. Am I so cold that my fingerprint won't even pick up through the gloves? Okay, I turned the light off, y'all. Dark. Blackness. Darkness. Charlie. Fuck y'all couch. Sorry. <laughs> Slap Charlie. What did the five fingers say to the face? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so happy to be in something warm. I'm tripping. <laughs> like, oh, shit. It's cold. So I'm the only live stream, so I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all got to get comfortable because they didn't put this structure up, and it's only 1 o'clock. So. so they not finished? Nope. Like, I'm under the impression that 
something might happen. And not saying that the protesters are gonna do something, but like there is a structure put up now. And I'm like, every time y'all do something like this, don't the police come out and say something? My thing is though, isn't this a private parking lot? Didn't Andy Worm give y'all permission to be here? Huh? Yeah. So if this is a private parking lot and Andy Worm gave y'all permission to be here, then why would the police come fuck with the structure? I need to film myself like a reporter. <laughs> oh, yeah. Courtney's like, I can totally tell you drank some coffee. <laughs> yes, Courtney. I had coffee with a lot of sugar in it. Okay, wait. I need to film myself like I'm... Oh, wait. Hey, y'all. Um, It's been two hours. I'm about to shut down and come right back. I'm about to shut down and come right back. Let me know when the chat stream catch, uh, lag catches up so I can shut down and come right back. Like, right, right back, I promise. <laughs> Darkness. <laughs> Turn on the dome light. Haha, dome light. Darkness, okay. <laughs> 